Hey everybody, how's it going? Today we're going to go over how to properly apply liquid metal to your MacBook to get some better temperatures. I'm going to show you what this looks like on the inside. My normal Phillips has been stolen, so I'm using this strange Phillips that is pretty large for what I'm doing, but it'll suffice to get the screws out of here. It's just a little, little weird is all. Let's take the heat sink off so we can take a look at this liquid metal application. This board is going between 200 to 500 milliamps, and I wonder why. Of course I saw that screw there. I was just wanted to make sure you were paying attention. Of course. What a giant cum stain. So, yeah, you're going to have a short circuit up here, there, definitely there, 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 but above all, underneath the chip. That's right. This is going to be beautiful. So let's get a nice view of that. The camera doesn't pick it up as well, but I can see it jiggling. Either way, uh, this, this gentleman is unfortunately probably screwed. Is getting rid of all that stuff. Yeah, there's going to be little pieces of it underneath there. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Can we help this gentleman? Is there a... Maybe. Uh, let's see. This is weird because it's like solder, except it's completely liquid. So it doesn't just break away. This is the most annoying crap in the world. My god. Okay. Yeah, it also doesn't seem to want to stick to a Q-tip very well. Uh, all right. What do you got? Now, if I'm lucky, if I'm lucky, I may be able to actually take this off as one piece and have it... This may have actually stuck to the side of the GPU without going under it. I know. Wishful thinking, right? Wishful thinking. Very low chance that that's what's happening here. Also, my HDR has turned up way too much, so let's lower that a little. That's a horrible picture. All right. There we go. There we go. Let's get a better picture. All right. Can this be saved? This is like solder that never dries. So it's like I'm going to have to keep grabbing Q-tips. And there's a resistor that popped off there. Who knows what that goes to. Oh man. Yeah. Yeah, you kind of fucked yourself here, didn't you? When I say I fix liquid damage, not this type of liquid. I mean, water. Like, you can't, it won't get sucked onto the Q tip. You, okay, you can grab it with tweezers at least. Let's see, can I grab each individual part with tweezers? Oh, this is so annoying. Okay, so I can't get the crap that's underneath the CPU and the GPU entirely. Oh, it just shorts everything. It shorts everything. This is awful. Why would you do this? Why would you use this garbage? Use Tunic TX4. What are you going to save? One or two Celsius? Who gives a shit? It's not like you can overclock this thing anyway. I really don't get the liquid metal shit. It's like... If you look at the measurements, stuff like Tunic TX4 to liquid metal, like, it's, it's so negligible. It's so negligible. I think what people do is they say, I'm not going to be the one that gets liquid metal all over my board. That won't be me. Oops. <laughs> I think that's how this usually goes, that decision-making process. I'm not going to be the one that... Fuck. 
It always ends with a fuck. Like a good breakup. I wonder what hot air does with this, actually. Like, how... I know it's not solder. How would it behave with hot air? Just out of curiosity. Oh, it's awful. Just sticks to shit. The, there, ah, I just, it got stuck on my tweezers, son of a fucking. What happens if I combine it with another liquid? Let's see. Like, just hyper crazy craziness. Like, let's say I put alcohol on my Q-tip. And do this. No change. Nope. It doesn't get sucked up with other liquids. Okay, I'll live with that piece being there. I can't get it all off. Right now, I'm just on phase one, I'm just trying to remove all the short circuits that I see. So, like, I'll, I can neaten the thing up later, but right now, anything that I see where you're shorting two points, you're shorting across a resistor or a capacitor, like here, I try to suck it up. Alright, so I think the stuff above the GPU, we're pretty safe. Next up is side of the GPU, I think we're pretty safe, even though that doesn't look nice on this one cap over there, but... Oh my, it's like it defaults to going between it. It's like, it practically defaults to just going right between from there to there every time you wipe and try to suck it up. Okay, that is annoying. It's probably going to screw up that joint in the long term. This stuff really screws up the joints in the long term. Like, it just eats away at them. But, let's see if this is... Alright. That is on... Don't short the caps on top of the CPU. Can I grab... Oh, yeah, there's a resistor in there. Yeah. So this probably already took some pieces off of the board. Yeah, like, I'm guessing that these parts that are perfectly flat at some point in time used to actually have uh, probes and uh, uh, components on them. So I suppose the first thing I'm kind of curious about, before I even, like, really waste too much time on this thing, is... Does it still do the boot looping? Like, does it, or is it just going to stay on at 500 milliamps? And there's really only one way to find that out. I'm just going to, I'm going to plug it in. I've gotten rid of it. pretty much what I can get rid of at this point. Nope. It's still boot looping. So I've removed every short, and it's still boot looping. So I'm, I don't have much faith that adding back a couple of those resistors and caps that are most likely just bypass caps for the GPU power rail or uh, PCI Express data lines is really going to get rid of the boot looping issue. So I don't want to reattach all that stuff because we're still, yeah. So most likely the short circuits that occurred fried this entirely. So just a lesson, uh, Tunic TX4, or what do I have here? I don't even know what thermal paste I have here. Uh, I think it's like some dick shit or whatever. There we go. I have, yeah, uh, MX4 thermal compound. Uh, it's not the end of the world to use MX4 or like Tunic TX4 or anything like that. It, it's fine. J just just use that. Don't 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 like fuck your board like this. This isn't worth it. Because this is, I could probably spend a good another hour on this and it's still gonna wind up being destroyed. Um, that's it today. Today and as always, I hope you learned something. I'm gonna go deliver some uh, some bad news to this uh, poor customer.